Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we're going to talk about the side quest for this month, the 10 Ring Tournament. Now, this is a very simple and straightforward side event, which is very nice uh, when we have had some more complicated ones in the recent past, but we have access to chapter one so far. We cannot get into chapter two. Those will come uh, a week after each other, but within each of these quests, there are one locked path that needs a key to open up. Now, with the following chapters, there will be two paths that are locked, and we can uh, assume that the locked paths will have the nicer rewards. Now, what's nice is the first quest has a legendary nexus, so good chance of getting a five star, and then uh, this is in legendary difficulty, and the second quest in chapter one behind this one here is a... Um, a five-star crystal. Now, how do you get those keys? Well, you'll get many keys throughout doing these missions. And you can see I have one, I can claim this quest here. It does not have a key, but as you progress down the quests, the very last one does have a key. So you're gonna want to complete all of these. And basically it's with different types of champions defeating, uh, or sorry, with skill champions defeating different classes of champions using light attacks, medium attacks, um, and then the first ones, the first keys you can get right at the top here, there is the first key actually from leveling up Shang-Chi. So that's pretty easy to get. At the very end, there is another key in this one here after you do enough fights with Shang-Chi in arenas or duels and then in the right in the side event quest. And then the key that you need for this quest is the bronze. I think it's called the bronze key. You get that one from the arena. So if you put a little bit of leveling up into the free three-star Shang-Chi that you got, then you can unlock the gated path in the first quest of chapter one. And to get the key for the gated path of the second quest, all you have to do is put 7,500 points into this arena with your two or three star champions, and you'll get that brown tournament key. So it is very easy to get all of those. So you can actually access all the paths very easily for this side event quest. Now, once you go throughout this, you don't have to do every single path every single day, but you are limited in how much you can do before they unlock. So again, like I said, the next chapters will unlock after a week's time. And so you might as well do what you can to get as many of the keys as you can earlier on so you're not fighting for them later once you're trying to grind through all the quests. And so... You're most of these, if you are just doing arena, you'll probably knock out most of these and you'll probably get a lot of them done even just through your basic questing, especially going through the new event quests. But the main thing is you might want to load your roster with more skill champions than you otherwise might because all of these ones here are based on skill champions. And so that is something to keep in mind, especially if you're just auto fighting through the lower um, quests and the lower side quests, then you can get out a bunch of those quests done most likely just from doing that. So I just finished the exploration of both the first quests in chapter one and you do get some six stones. There are five star six stones which are great for the vast majority of players but the top tier don't like those quite as much as six star shards obviously but here is a five star hand-to-hand -hand combat crystal that we will now get to go open and so let's go open up the legendary nexus as well as that five star hand-to-hand -hand crystal. Here we go. Let's start with the legendary nexus and see if we can land ourselves a five star. There is a pretty good chance, but unfortunately, we did not. Now, the question is, do I want sig ability on ghost? Probably not. Not going to matter that much for my four stars. So let's go max sig and oh, what kind of iso would I like? Let's go with cosmic and then let's go to that five star crystal get those extra five star shards so that's nice and let's open up that five star crystal as well and then we'll talk about the last objective in this side event quest uh for the tier five class catalyst over here it is in the special crystals and also you collect these shards to open up these nexus or sorry cavalier hand-to-hand -hand crystals i don't know how many total we'll be able to get but i 
have seen throughout the objectives and the arena there's access to quite a bit so i'm excited to save that up and do a big opening and hope we can get a couple six star champions but let's spin this out and see what we land on there are tons of good skill champions in this crystal especially with the new black panther buff he also does need sigs and there also is Aegon in here i believe so that's great access to a look at all those Aegons. Um, so that's a max sig ability crystal for me, which is great. So, I mean, I can't be upset about that. I hope other people who are still looking for Aegon can get that pull, but I'm satisfied with it. And hopefully we'll all get some good drops as well, specifically good drops for the account in question. But I'm not mad about the extra six star shards and the extra skill ISO because I have some skill champions I need to level up. Now let's take a look at this final objective for the side event quest and break that down. So the last one is Cavalier Master. Defeat Shang Chi three times in the final round of the 10 ring tournament in legendary difficulty using four star skill champions only. So I'm not sure if that means we have we can bring in other champions uh, to that path and then just defeat Shang Chi with the four star skill champion or if we have to do the entire quest with four star skill champions. But when we get there, if it is a bit not obvious, then I'll make a video on that. But I think you should be able to just bring in your four-star skill champions uh, for that fight and try to defeat him that way. And that will give you a 10% tier 5 class catalyst fragment crystal. So I think this, this mission is probably or I'm pretty sure it's a lot easier than the old challenge, which was to defeat every single quest of Cavalier difficulty with only four stars. So that is a nice addition, a nice change to see. And so I hope that more people are able to get that objective done. So I'm happy to see this event quest or side quest being a little bit simple more simple and straightforward but also having good rewards already the first day we got a five star champion we got extra six star shards from that max sig Aegon, and we also unfortunately with our legendary nexus we got the uh, four star champion but hopefully other players will strike it big and get a solid five star champion that they need let me know what your thoughts are so far on this side event quest let me know if you hit a great poll and i hope to see you in the next video